this is it guys, I have finally made it into Star Citizen of a 3.17 PTU, I have been able to do something, somewhat, It's it's been difficult, it's been difficult, so I have some really strong advice for you guys, do not select Area 18 in the current PTU as your home destination, do not go to R Corp guys, because when you do the elevators at the starport, do not work they do not spawn and when they do the buttons to call the elevators do not spawn as well which leaves you basically stranded this is not in the patch notes this has been the case every single time i've been logging on into star citizen it's been the same on every server in every region asia europe america and i've talked to other people stuck at area 18 it has been the same for them as well so again i repeat do not go to area 18 avoid area 18 at all costs now that being said after a character reset well i was able to get in star season once more but i could not select the stand assist <laughs> which was very easy so i had to do another character reset and then i set my respawn point at lorville it worked i was able to call a ship there a whole a that you can see here the footage i was able to fly the whole a we'll have a dedicated video eventually another day because there are other issues uh, so i've been able to fly the whole the whole a but that's basically everything i've been able to do so uh, unfortunately yeah there the elevators are not the only thing that do not spawn i went to trade outpost because it's a whole a it's a trader ship of course you would expect to go to a trade outpost to trades but I've been to uh, several in the standard system and none of them had spawned as you can see in the picture in, in the picture in the video the footage as well so uh, this is again not ideal because you know when you use a trader you want to be using it by trading but if you can't trade then uh, obviously no test so far I've tried to do the quantum missions as well the quantum beacon missions coming up you know from quanta there's the background simulation here that dictates where NPCs are being uh, attacked by pirates based on the uh, background simulation, uh, the activity that's happening in the background simulation, right? So I tried to do that and every single time I went to Quantum Beacons, they were all empty with nothing happening at all. So this is broken as well, unfortunately. So not many things seems to be uh, working here. I have not tried uh, buying and selling the selling kiosk. I have not tried the river as well. I guess that maybe the river is the only thing that will be uh, working in 3.17 at this stage right now. Anyway, we have a new patch, which is why I was able to get in the game, because the previous two patches were so broken, I could not even get in the game. But this time, I could. Uh, and the testing focus here, again, they said that the build has important logging as well as extra fixes for streaming issues and crashes, but they aren't expecting the experience to be greatly improved, though. So, uh, yeah, uh, they were correct. The experience has not been improved, but at least I was able to get in, so that is one improvement right they're still working on ship positional desync but you know if obviously uh, mission missions are not spawning it's not gonna be uh, <laughs> it's not gonna be testable uh, obviously let's have a look at some of the bug fixes there were a few uh, bug fixes including three client crashes or server deadlock uh, target shield status should now display correctly on the mfds upon completing a transaction the staff at a refueling kiosk should no longer reset the order to zero on the confirmation screen and shop terminal buy and sell buttons should no longer cease to function after buying or selling multiple items these are the three fixes that were applied to this patch along with uh, again uh, some loading fixes as well uh, as far as i'm concerned i was able to load into the game and play for about half an hour until I realized that nothing was working but still nevertheless that is an improvement so I decided to uh, talk about it right next uh, we still have a couple of known issues these are pretty much the same right we can still destroy our ships by simply leaving them we still have infinite loading screens when we are dying uh, the staffer boom arm is not repairing if destroyed the hangars are missing collisions and shop terminals are currently not not functioning when buying items so yeah these are these are annoying issues but 
Uh, the most annoying part, in my opinion, are the streaming issues and especially getting the, getting those quantum missions. They're back into the game, but they're not working. CIG need to find a way to make this work in a reliable fashion, guys. Guys, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. You know, every uh, every video we have a question that can get you uh, a prize. Well, uh, this month, if you subscribe to the channel and answer the question, you can win a Cutlass Black thanks to, uh, thanks to Timo. Um, what have you achieved? in 3.17 is there something that has worked for you i haven't asked this question yet uh, so i'm asking it right now let me know in the comment section down below if you want to help out the channel furthermore via patreon or youtube job membership program you'll have access to exclusive content and my discord channel where we have another giveaway it's a whole b this time i don't know it's a 400i this time with the fortune that pent thanks to dr Fobby. that's all for this quick video hopefully uh, i'll try to I'll, I'll, i will not give up i'll keep on trying until i have something to show you guys Hopefully, I'll be able to finally test the whole... I was so close if only those um, those outposts had spawned, right? So, I think I'll try to get this, the whole A. I'll try to get to the river. I'll try to buy and sell mechanics. Maybe I'll just take a exploration mission, you know, in one of the Delerics and find, find something there and then sell the loot. Probably that's what I'm going to do next. If if the Delerics spawn at all, right? It's possible it's not even going to spawn, right? So, I guess we'll see. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to the DJ Dunn, Dr. Fobin. Citizen Gamer, uh, sorry, Geek Citizen, Captain Snake, and Eric Own. It's the Eradicator. I will see you guys later. A huge shout out to everyone who's been helping me out on Patreon and via the YouTube Joint Membership Program. Creating content on YouTube involves continuous circles of ups and downs, and it is when we are the lower parts of the curve that your help really motivates me to keep on going. Your contribution really does make a difference, which is why in return I try to give back by offering backers access to my private Discord channel, automatic access to exclusive giveaways, or answering your questions during the show. You can help me out with as little as a dollar a month, and any help is greatly appreciated. Thank you very much for watching again. This is the Eradicator. I'll see you guys later.